You're not cold anymore? No. Thank you. Right. I'm fine. So, where did you grow up? You ever hear of the Bronx? Oh, everyone's heard of the Bronx. Seen pictures. Oh, no, but you're talking Bronx travelogue. I'm talking Bronx. Hard, grinding, poverty Bronx. That's where I grew up with my mom. We did everything we could just to stay alive. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you don't have to be. Genius thrives on adversity. Just remember that. Anyway, I got us out of there. We lived happily ever after. Is she still alive? Eden, I'll tell you what. Why don't you tell me about the latest book that you've just read or a movie that you've seen or we'll talk art, politics, okay? Anything you want. It really doesn't matter to me. Yes. Yes, she is alive and I'm still taking care of her and doing a lot better job than Jack Lee ever did. I like to add that. I think I told you, you know, got her pregnant when she was just 16 and he walked away from her. A really long walk. She never got over it. That's too bad. Family's really important to you, isn't it? It's very important. That's a little sentimental, don't you think? What's wrong with that? I'm an extremely sentimental person. No, but it's just not smart in business, that's all, Eden. I mean, it's like having an Achilles heel, you know? It makes you extremely vulnerable. Well, maybe that's how I'm gonna prove most valuable to you in this whole thing, huh? I mean, if you start to let sentimentality get in the way of business, I'll be there to keep it cold, precise, and logical. <laughs> hey, you want to hear about me in a nutshell? You know, truth. Not only am I a bastard by birth, but I am a cold one by breeding. In short, I am Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, the answer to an Iron Maiden's prayers. <laughs>